Hey, everybody. Happy Friday. Uh, I'm Will. We got George and Mike is running late. <laughs> hey, everybody. Mobile Giza here. You know where to find me on Twitter, uh, YouTube, of course, uh, Facebook, and uh, where else? Instagram. Thank you. <laughs> Not Google Plus, George? No, no more Google Plus. I always want to say Google Plus, you know. So. Yeah, you know. Well, don't worry. Google will come up with something else so they can put it out. Well, it's finally Friday, George. How was your week? My week has been pretty good. Busy, right? Extremely busy on uh, YouTube, which, of course, is a wonderful thing. And, uh, you know, I'm very happy with it. So. Somehow, somehow, oh, okay. I lost the live chatter for a minute. I got it. All right. Gary is in here. Hey, Gary. Not just talking about his sneakers. Uh oh, you just disappeared for a second. Yeah, I know. Everything everything was out for a minute. I don't know what happened. Okay. But uh, yeah, we got some interesting stories this week, George, because yep. it's pretty busy. I didn't think we would get too much until uh until the pixel, but right, yeah. Now this week Microsoft week, surprised us. Microsoft <laughs> shocked everybody, pleasantly shocked everybody. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, I guess Mike isn't here yet, so let me see. Um, Mike will pop in as the star of the show. You know. Yeah. So I guess George, I'll start. Okay, you want me to get? You want, me to, you want me to pull it up? See that. Uh, uh, which one? That um, Microsoft products, new Microsoft products, Surface Duo phone, Surface Pro. Okay. The CNET one. I'll get the last one. Okay. Getting it slowly. Okay, now I want to share screen. Okay. All right, now you're in charge. I've got the screen shared. All right, we've got it. Okay. All right. Um, you want me to get it? I got it, George. Yeah, go for right. it. Um, let me get this ad off the page. All right. So this this um, was the this was the big event of the week, folks. And I guess most of us were not expecting it, but Microsoft has excited everybody, top yeah, to bottom. I didn't, I didn't even, George, I didn't even um like really know. I heard of the event, but I didn't. Yeah, I me too. I, I I had no idea. And then I seen like everybody was just going crazy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, new Microsoft products, Surface Duo phone, Surface Pro, Surface Laptop 3, and every other Surface announced. Everything Microsoft availed at its October event, including the Surface Pro X, Surface Neo, Surface Pro 7, and Surface Buds. So, so before you go further, mm -hmm. what, wait a minute, what we're saying is everything that Microsoft surfaced, right? <laughs> I knew you had something coming. Okay. <laughs> Had to get that in. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> yeah, here we go. Uh, Microsoft is making a phone again. The tech giant, which stopped producing phones years ago, is, ho is hoping to stage a comeback with the Surface Duo. As the name suggests, the device has two screens connected by a hinge. Microsoft is attempting to succeed where others have failed in the dual screen phone space. This product brings together the absolute best of Microsoft. And we're partnering with Google to bring the absolute best of Android in one product, said Microsoft Chief Panos Panay. This is industry pushing technology. The whole thing is a bit of a surprise considering Microsoft eventually gave up making phones after its troubled 2014 purchase of phone giant Nokia for more than $7 billion. This time, Microsoft says its new innovations like, du like the dual screen folding display and special technology it built for the Google Android software that powers the gadget will help make the difference. We won't know for sure until the Surface Duo is released next year. Um, it's not the only product Microsoft announced Wednesday. The company also showed off updates to its Surface laptop lines, including the Surface Neo, a larger dual screen laptop powered by a new version of Windows designed to allow apps and keyboards to work more seamlessly with these new devices. 
like the service duo won't be released until next year. It's rare for a company to pre-announce new devices so far in advance of their launch, particularly because excited customers may hold off on purchasing this year's devices while they wait for the ones coming next year. Oh, and but folks, uh, that uh, video that's in there on CNET's website, that video is worth watching if you ask me. Um, but for Microsoft, the risk may be worth the reward of surprising the tech industry with new devices and the promise of a different approach to its laptops. Microsoft pulled off such a surprise in 2012 when it announced the first Surface hybrid tablet. Until then, the company had primarily been a software maker, with the exception of its Xbox video game console and some phones. <clears throat> now, seven years later, the Microsoft Surface Pro is still well regarded for its tablet-like slim form, keyboard cover, and digital stylus pen, even if Microsoft doesn't sell enough of them to compete with the likes of Lenovo, HP, or Dell. Um, new laptops for this year. The attention on Microsoft may be focused on next year's new devices, but the company also announced new laptops coming this year. They include an update to the Surface Pro line, the new Surface Pro, Surface Laptop 3 with new high-performance Ryzen graphics chips from AMD. Microsoft also announced an ultra-slim Surface Pro X tablet laptop hybrid powered by a custom chip that promises better performance and battery life. If I were going to get one, that would be the one I would be going for. So you like the the, um, Pro the X. Surface Pro X. So you want yeah. the tablet yeah. laptop hybrid. Now that okay. was the one that she was able to fold over and use the screen as a keyboard. Right. Right. And then the keyboard, and then then there was a little piece of screen between the keyboard and uh -huh. the main screen. That, that was into cool. like a um like what Apple has as a um touch bar. Had exactly. like the emojis and all that. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah, that was very cool. Um let me see. Did you, I guess this is one for you too. Note that CNET may get a share of revenue from the sale of products featured on this page. Okay. Um, okay, then we got the Surface Duo. The company known for its Windows operating system is getting back into smartphones by embracing Google's Android. The Surface Duo will have two 5.6-inch displays that expand to an 8.3-inch device. Microsoft said that it will be released in time for the holidays 2020. Oh, yeah, I, like, I like that, George. I did yeah. like that. We yeah, but I mean, everybody liked it. It was like an Axon M, but it yeah. just looked so, you know. Uh, it it, it looked like it was made right. Yeah, yeah, it looks I think Max Lee in his video kept saying it's because they didn't try to do anything new and innovative, quote unquote. They used existing technology in a very smart way, that's all. Yeah, I mean, it's like, yeah, like you said, like it's. You can, you can tell it's already going to be more durable because the screen is, you know, they're closing in on each other, kind of like the Axon M, and you have that phone, so you would exactly. know. Exactly. Um, now, the next one, this is the Surface Neo. If, if, I, if I end up getting both of them next year, I'm going to go for this one first. Uh, yeah, the, okay, the Surface Neo. Right. Um, equipped with dual 9-inch displays, the Surface Neo weighs 1.4 pounds and is only 5.6 millimeters thick. A super felt profile achieved by using the thinnest LCDs ever created. Attached with a 360 degree hinge, the display, the displays have more than 60 micro coaxial cables running between them. Like the Surface Duo, the Neo won't appear in stores until 2020. Holiday season. Yeah. Now that that looks that looks nice too. I mean, Microsoft, they really, they really uh they really brought it this year. Yeah, they really it's it sucks though, because you know you gotta wait till you yeah, know, so I guess year. we could they really brought it next year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess well, yeah, everybody can start saving. I mean yep, exactly. I've seen some people upset though, like that the phone is gonna be running Android. But in a way, you kind of seen this coming because even on like Windows 10, they added the thing for messaging to try to make it more like a exactly. kind of like an Apple experience between yep. between the phone and the computer where the messages sync. So yep. you've seen this coming where they're trying to embrace Android more. Yeah, I think it's a very smart move. What's the most popular uh, operating system in the world? Oh, yeah, Android. Yeah, so... Uh-oh, the star is here. <laughs> yeah, you see that? 
Um, then we got, they also announced uh, Windows 10X, which is going to be running on the Surface Neo. The Surface Neo will run on Windows 10X, a new version of Microsoft's OS specifically designed and optimized for dual screen devices. It's a new expression of Windows 10 that we've been designing and building for the last couple of years with hundreds of engineers and designers at Microsoft, said Carmen Z Ziatif. I'm going to say Latif. Maybe, uh, maybe the Z is silent. Yeah, maybe. Um, Microsoft Program Manager for Experiences and Devices. Our goal is to fuel a new era of mobile productivity and creativity across two screens. Um, then we got the Surface Laptop 3. Uh, the third generation of the Surface Laptop will come in two sizes, 13.5 inch and 15 inch, starting at 999 and 1199 respectively. Both have a touchscreen display, enhanced keyboards and trackpads, USB connections, and a modular design. And the specs have gotten an upgrade too. The Surface Laptop 3 features 10th gen quad core 10 millimeter Intel CPUs. 10 nanometer. Ah, nanometer, yeah. 10 nanometer CPUs and the exclusive AMD Ryzen Surface Edition graphics chip. Now, George, is this the one? I don't know if you remember. Is it this one or the next one? One of them, you're going to be able to upgrade the the the, uh, the the memory. Like you'll be able to upgrade the RAM. I think it's the next one. I'm thinking it's the next one. Too. Surface Pro X. And then we got the Surface Pro X. Um, the new 13-inch Surface Pro X is a Windows tablet that runs on a special Microsoft custom version of a Qualcomm Snapdragon processor, the SQ1 ARM chip. The Pro and they've X developed the just for them, right? Yeah, I think so. Well, for now, okay. anyway. Yeah. The um, the Pro X has a 13-inch display, a new Surface Slim Pen that can be stowed in a garage above the keyboard, and two USB-C connections. The Surface Pro X is available for pre-order now, starting at $9.99, and will ship in November. Now, that looks I'm, I'm going to put this out there right now. <laughs> um, January or February, I'll be trying to get this. Yeah, that that just looks hot, nice. and it looks like you can edit on it. Do you see the uh the spot they got up there for the pen? Yeah, yeah, yeah that looks that nice. Looks very cool. Was... And then we got the Surface Pro Seven. They really <laughs> Microsoft they released it. a lot. Yeah. Um, the new Surface Pro Seven gets its annual makeover with new Intel Core Ice Lake processors, up to sixteen gigs of RAM, and up to one terabyte of SSD capacity. It starts at seven forty nine and is available for pre order. And that's the that's like their when they first came up when they did the Surface. It's just a tablet with the detachable keyboard. Right. Okay, so um, now they're talking about this custom this chip that we read about on the Surface Pro X. Yeah. Um, developed in partnership with Qualcomm, the new SQ one chip offers dedicated circuitry for accelerating AI software, a major advance in computing technology for intensive tasks like recognizing speech and editing photos. Microsoft emphasized the chip's efficiency, claiming that it delivered three times more performance per watt than the one used in the previous Surface Pro model. And did you see um, um, MKBHD's interview? With, uh, I didn't watch it yet. Okay, because he was talking about this. This thing, that chip sounds really hot to me. Yeah. Now here's the <laughs> okay. Here's here's the, uh, the buzz we were, we were talking about before we went on. <laughs> um, right. These are surface, here's, surface, your, here's your thing. Okay. Surface earbuds, <laughs> following in the path of uh, the Surface noise canceling headphones released last year, Microsoft has announced the true wireless Surface earbuds. The company <clears throat> the company didn't release too many details. <clears throat> But we know they'll be released in time for the holidays at a price tag of two forty nine. Okay, Microsoft's so. answer to Apple's AirPods. Yeah. Well, you yeah. see, they look see, they look as worse than the AirPods. Yeah, but 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 <coughs> in mind, everybody made fun of AirPods when they first came out. Remember, they did. Yeah, they did. Yeah, that, that, you see the tweet. You see the tweet. You know, it said yeah, AirPods, and people were poking funny and said, oh, and yeah. they said the guy said something about Microsoft. Said, "Here, hold my beer." Yeah, for real. Yeah. <laughs> But you see, <coughs> the fact that they look so different, that's exactly what attracts me to them. Yeah. Oh, man. I don't you know, know me. I'm nothing if not. But, but, uh, look, that, that is so Star Trek. It's not even funny. I agree. I agree. That is so Star Trek. Well, I saw that. I'm thinking, just give me a communicator. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Oh, speaking of which, I got to tell you guys, uh, Elmo tweeted yesterday, I guess you found it somewhere. Now, you know I work for Enterprise, right? Right. But there's a cartoon of Spock talking to Kirk, and Spock is saying, well, everybody wants too much to rent these cars. And Kirk says, let me handle this. Kirk to Enterprise. <laughs> yeah, I loved, yeah. I loved it. That was good. That was good. All right. Will disappeared, and he's in charge here. Um. So, so did I hear you right? You're going to get one of these. Um, I'm hoping, I'm not guaranteeing, but if I'm going to go for something of the current products, the ones we don't have to wait till next Christmas for, the Surface Pro X, I'm going to go for that. I'm going to get the base model, obviously, mm -hmm. but um, that thing looks way too hot to me. I, I think I need to have that. Now, I'm not going to get it right away. I'm thinking January, February. Now, I, I just want to just uh, see Butler uh, pointing out something, and I thought the same thing, too. They yeah. talk about using a 10 nanometer technology. Right. Aren't we, aren't we pushing lower than that now? In phones. I don't, In, I don't think okay. we're pushing lower than that on laptops or, okay. or tablets, I don't think. But, yes, we are in, we are in phones. Gotcha. Yeah, we're pushing 7 nanometer in phones. I think Will he was having a coughing fit. I, you know, oh. I think I think he, he's gone to the gym too many days. <laughs> Will you or, stop that? You can, all right. Just my answer to Mike is: there's no such thing as it being possible to go to the gym too many days. I know, I know. I I am seventy four years old and in the best shape of my life because I exercise six days a week. Anyway, he's uh, going to the gym. He's showing me pictures of salads instead of like, you know, but he went to Wendy's today. He went to Wendy's today for his right. kid. Yeah. Now, did he, sneak in, did he sneak in something? That's the question right now. Know. Here's what you should know, because this is what I told him last week. Now, keep in mind, I've been exercising for 38 years straight. But what I found out maybe 20 some years ago, if I exercise enough, I can eat anything I want, anytime I want. I can drink anything I want, anytime I want. Has no effect on my health or my fat. So just let you know. All you have to do is exercise enough. Oh yeah, uh, and he's working at it. He's oh, he's killing he's, it. He's killing it. Yeah, yeah. Anthony, so. my tech is in here. Hey, Anthony. Hey, Alan. Alan's in here. Yeah, he's, everybody's uh, the same. I'm really excited for the uh, duo. I love Microsoft mobile devices, even if they were doomed in the end. But yeah, they they look like they're coming back strong to me. So, so let me ask you something. Would you get rid of your um, your MacBook? Would you get rid of something to re, you know trade off? If especially if the Surface Pro X is no. capable. No, no. Well, okay. no. I take that back. If now keep in mind, I I'm um, right now and I do all, the vast majority of my editing and everything on a uh, desktop Windows ten which has a terabyte. Now, if the X, the Surface Pro X comes in and is really, really something special and it can replace my desktop, yeah, I'll get rid of my desktop. But the fact that I have an iPhone and I have a MacBook, well, I want to keep that. So I'm not going to get rid of that ecosystem. You know? Okay, but but the, but the Mac, so you prefer to do it on your Windows versus the MacBook that you're editing? I'm just more comfortable on when to keep in mind. Programming. No, that's fine. That's good. Programming that's for good. 34 years, I was always on Windows. You know, so. Okay. Uh, and not, I, I learned how to edit my stuff on the Mac, and the Mac will edit my 4K videos a little bit faster, but I'm clumsy on the Mac. I'm not clumsy on the Windows 10 because I'm yeah, used yeah. to uh, you see the comment from Night Tech. He's saying um, Surface Pro X, no, no go for editing. Well, that's what I'm wondering. That's what I'm wondering. Of course, before I buy, I will, I will find. How, how could he know that nobody has it yet? I, <laughs> you know, I, I you know, you know. Hey, here's a here's a great here's a great thing here. I don't know, maybe because we're not really delve into that world. Okay, but I have to hand it to Microsoft. Not one people leak on any of this stuff. No, no, this this took everybody from you know came right. out of, and that's everybody, biggie small. Uh, the only one who knew about it was MKBHD because he had a personal tour. 
Sure, he, but that was what weeks beforehand. You know, where yeah, we've yeah, been but, seeing the pixel for how many months? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, nothing of this got added. Obviously, he was under the un, under an NDA, but uh, yeah, I don't think anybody else knew a thing about it besides him. Yeah, so, let, let, let's let's talk for a second. Uh, and I wish Will was here for this. You want me to, you want me to keep it up on screen, or you want me to? to okay, well, you got keep it up there. But uh, my, my my question is is this is strictly innovative with the duo, especially and yeah. and the neo. Okay, and 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 there are other computers. I mean, this, the limelight is on those two two devices. Yeah, right but now. keep something in mind. Did you see Max Lee's video about it? No, I didn't. I didn't get a chance to. He yeah, stressed a very important point. He said. The reason that he likes this better and he thinks it will succeed way better than the, um, the the Galaxy Fold is because the Galaxy Fold is trying to innovate with new technology. He said Microsoft has done this with nothing but existing technology. And he's right. So, yeah, it's innovative, but it's not new. They're just doing it smarter. I, mm -hmm. you know. Okay, so so we won't call this innovative. I mean, you can call it innovative, but it's not, you know, people, I think people tend to, in their minds, say innovative and new at the same time. And, and this is not new, but yeah, I guess it is innovative. You know. uh, Night Tech is saying, they said it, they said it already. When, I don't understand what you mean, they said it. Hey, Eleanor, Eleanor Jones is again. Hey, how you doing, Eleanor? Well, I, I just was, what quickly, quickly th came to my mind was after last week's conversation with, um, about John Posner in his video right. on on how Apple uh, wasn't they, he said it wasn't innovative but it was um, I, oh man I forgot the word oh no how he was you know where there was co uh, not compensation but um no way oh man basically the, the Apple brought it down to where people can afford it the the stuff that's in it. Uh, you know the stuff that the phone is is in this case a phone, right? Is um, oh man, when you when you when you make a uh, when you make concessions, you know, what I mean, there were concessions. There's another word for it. I can't think of the damn word, but he 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 stressed on that uh uh on that too. Okay. Uh, you know, we we were seemed like we're really pushing some innovative stuff here. And 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 his video really spe spoke to me in the respect of that Apple took a moment and said, "Hmm, let's get a product out there that everybody can use and everybody can afford." Right. What is this device going to be, cost wise? Is everybody is it really going to be meant for everybody? That well, see that that's what Will and I were talking before we started. Will thinks the uh, the duo is going to come in at uh, two two grand. I don't think so. I don't think they're going to go that high. Specifically, because because they are not using new technology, they're using existing technology. So I don't think they need to go to two thousand mm -hmm. dollars. I I guess twelve to fourteen hundred. And funny you mentioned that too, Will, uh, uh, George. That the price point on this is what I find interesting is what you just said. If what Will feels two thousand, right? We're so we're so. Um, Beaten, beaten, senseless, senseless on the price of these devices. You know, where a thousand dollars for a device is going to look cheap now. Well, compared, you know, what I mean, they could price this at fourteen hundred. I haven't spent a thousand dollars on a phone yet. Right, I, I get you, but, but I'm saying that what, what, what we got going for price points here, they could easily price this out fourteen, fourteen forty nine. Me, you know if what I mean? they price it at. Twelve to fourteen hundred. I could see myself buying one. If they price right. it at two thousand dollars, I do not see myself buying. Right, one. but yeah. and that's that's just it. You just said though they're using existing technology, right. but they can name their price and still make a bigger margin. Yes, they can. Yes, they can. But I, I think, I think if they priced it at two thousand, they'd be killing themselves, shooting themselves in the foot. I think mm -hmm. if they priced it at twelve hundred, they'd sell a ton of them. That's right. My right. Right. And, and and what and the question yeah I will we'll find out eventually is you know what is the real price on the the to make this uh to make this anyway yeah and we'll find that out somebody will let mm -hmm. that out you know now see night pack is thinking it'll start at eight ninety nine if wow. if the neo starts at eight ninety nine I'm all over it you know 
wow, they're going to be flying off the shelves. I mean, at the near they really will be. I think if I can get that for nine hundred dollars, I'll bet you come January I'll have that thing. Well, at yeah. the very latest, oh, my birthday's in February, Mike. If you want to buy me one, I'll wait. <laughs> I, I, you know, they really came out. That's I think that's the everything because what threw me. Well, I shouldn't say threw me, but it, Eleanor it, said her too. She'd be all over. Uh, it. Yeah, nine hundred. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Here you go, Eleanor. I'm with you. Um. Um. Yeah, I would uh, let me that quick. What? Oh, uh, Aren't that, that, wonderful. What's that? I said, aren't brain farts wonderful? Uh, you know, I got like a ton of stuff I've been waiting to talk about. And all of a sudden I had a little problem downstairs with, oh my God, I hate, I hate insurance companies. I hate medical insurance companies and their websites. They make it so difficult. It's not even funny. So that's what made me late. As somebody who worked for Blue Cross for the last nine years of his career, uh, a lot of what you hate about uh, insurance, medical insurance companies, you can blame on our government. Because they're the ones imposing all the stupid the, rules oh, that they jump through hoops. It was simple oh, passwords. My tech says it's just two screws. Said, yes. Yeah. But look what the Axon N does with just two screws. Mm -hmm. So I think Microsoft's just doing it better. But uh, that's what I was going to say is that uh, that we I kept on we kept on hearing through the year that uh, that Android or Google was going to well Android was behind the whole folding device thing. Uh, yeah. getting apps to be to work on it and for the longest time you just really had three players you know Huawei right Huawei Samsung uh, and that Royal and that, that? Yeah. and that, that yeah that Royale that nobody wants yeah that, right right well, I mean then it was like oh who else and this came out and it was like okay they they you know they, they again go back to the, this is how it should have been done you know. Keeping it secret, keeping it down tight. Nobody knew about it. And yeah, you know, that, you know what I was thinking today when I was working. If I'm ZTE, I mean, you know, this thing came out three years ago. Okay. okay. If I'm ZTE, with the excitement that's come up around this, I would be having a, a new, updated uh, Axon M out in the next six months. That's what mm -hmm. I. Well, and obviously that's one thing. I guess that's one of the problems with the M. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rely on you to clarify. Okay. Is, is it the software? Is it the software no, with that phone? No, no. The M, I think, for being three years ago, for what they had, is fine. But keep in mind, this is three years later. Do you know how far software has come in three years? Right. So, All the way around. Yeah. So based on this excitement about this Surface Duo, if I'm ZTE, I'd be coming out with another version of this before that comes out. Mm -hmm. And I'll bet you it'll be close to as good or not far off. Uh, this this will this will spur uh, other companies now. Yeah. I, I think I think I think a lot of companies were eh, and then Microsoft came out with this and and I think it's gonna be okay. You know, well, everybody's saying the whole folding screen stuff just isn't there yet. The technology is not there yet. A hinge, yes, we're there. You know, mm -hmm. so that's the difference. Just do it right. Right, right. Uh, we got LG. We got LG trying to make something of a folding phone oh, with that folding screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah but it's and just two, two halves. And yeah, it's just not there yet. You know. You know. And but, all the you know. People in the know are saying the technology is just not there yet, you know. But this this makes perfect sense to me. Oh, and oh, it's gonna make perfect dollars if you get down to it. Yeah, yeah, money talks. Yes, it does. So uh, anyway, I think they did great. So I hope I hope Will is okay. Yeah, he said. Uh, I said you okay? He said yeah. I said just keep uh, going with the stories. I'm fine. I okay. just messaged him asking him, "Are you coming back?" So I don't know if you want to uh, carry to the next story right. or. Yeah, let me uh, let me get rid of this. I'm just trying to get myself uh, where a uh, Microsoft event. Now, what was that? The which article was that, George? Okay, it was the uh, the, the last one in the Microsoft event, the CNET story. Okay, so you covered the other ones. No, we no. He he wanted to start with that one. That one. Okay. Yeah. You want to do the next one? Uh, I didn't see the video. I didn't. What's the one? What's the YouTube video? No. Oh, that's the, that's just the commercial for the Surface Duo. 
Oh, is it? Okay. They yeah. have a commercial already? Oh, yeah. The commercial was there when the event was there. You know, matter of fact, they had the commercial in the event, and I've, I've seen that commercial now six or seven times. No, i got to watch that. I didn't catch that. That's, that's yeah, it's something. Only, it's only 45 seconds a minute, but it's, it's a pretty good commercial. It shows yeah. what she can do with both. Because you're in the commercial, you're seeing both the Neo and the Duo. Real, real quick, yeah, if you, you got the you got the uh, uh, article up, uh, not yet. Get it up. Okay, I, I want to ask you a question. Getting it up because the man in charge is the only one that's going to allow me to do it. All right, what do y'all? Where are we at? Now we're going to the uh, the top story in the, under the Microsoft. The Microsoft surprise with the foldable display. The, uh, okay. All right. The Verge, you share the, the Verge one, yeah. Uh, share, it. share it right now. Got it. All right. So, Mike, you want to read? It? You want me? To yeah, read it? I, I want to read it, but just scroll down for a second. I want to ask you, ask you, beans. You got an X on M. Where's the picture? Stop. Where's the picture? It's like loading up, taking forever to load up. Probably still loading, is my guess. Yeah. Well, I'm looking at this picture, and if it comes up, the bezel where the two screens meet. They really look like they got it close. If it wasn't for that piece, and, and that's what they got over the Axon M. Now look here, you can see. That's why I want to ask you, how chunky is that bezel on yours? Looking at the hinge here, maybe I should turn it on. See, see the hinge? Mm, yeah. Pretty close, but what? What? In the Microsoft one, the two screens are like the same size. If you look at the Axon M. This one, one is thick. This one's thick. This one's very thin. Mm -hmm. But Microsoft's they're both the same size, and I think that's much more attractive. Now, maybe this wasn't that wasn't possible when they made the Axon M three years ago. I don't know. Got you. I think that's I just, part of what makes the Microsoft one much more attractive. More attractive, yeah. yeah. Uh, according to uh, Six Louise, uh, uh, Will was talking to Tim Cook. Probably getting a load down on. on <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. So, uh, all right. Let me read, and I got more thoughts here. It's okay, uh, Alan from Forbes is in here. I mean, uh, yeah, Joseph from Forbes Tech Reviews is in here. Hey, the picture's finally trying to come up. There you uh, go. Okay, Microsoft had one last surprise uh, at a Surface event. It's fold foldable. Surface Duo phone that runs Android. Uh, the design of the device resembles Microsoft just announced dual screen Surface Neo laptop, but on a smaller pocketable uh, scale. The Surface Duo features two 5.6 displays that can rotate, rotate 360 degrees, allowing, cool allowing for uh, to be a full to be fully unfolded as a miniature 8.3 tablet. Yep. Um, each of these displays can run two different apps at the same time, or the Duo can turn into landscape mode, uh, allowing for the second display to be used as a keyboard or game controller. The version of Android uh, on will offer looks like a heavily skinned two to resemble the Windows uh, 10X operating system that the larger Surface Neo runs. According to Wire, the Surface Duo is powered by a Snapdragon 855 processor, but elements of the design haven't been finalized yet, uh, like whether it will feature a rear camera at all. Uh, while the Microsoft uh, Chief Product uh, Office Officer Panos Penay uh, yes. uh, seemed to loathe to call the Surface uh, Duo a phone on stage, the announcement is a big one for Microsoft, marking the company's return to the smartphone space for the first time since the death of Windows Phone platform back in 2017. I'm sorry. <laughs> it is just, I don't want to go there. Uh, uh, like the Neo, uh, today, today's look at the Surface Duo is an early preview. The device won't be out until the holidays of 2020, 
but Microsoft wants to give developers plenty of time to start building apps for the new hardware. And I think that's the smart thing. What they're banking on is having a lot of apps when this thing launches. And that may be a really good move. Right, right. Without oh, yeah. And Will, while you were gone, uh, NITEC uh, is speculating that the duo will start up uh, Neo. Will start at eight ninety nine, and both Eleanor Jones and me said, "If that thing is nine hundred dollars, we're both all over it." Okay. Yeah, I hear you. Mm. Now, now, Will, I just yeah. noticed too. Man, and George, jump on, jump on this. Okay. This is the guy that says, "Ah, folding no, phone. no, 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 it's different. Well, let me defend you on this one. Now, oh, what, <laughs> oh, man. Right. Real's objection is to folding displays. Screens, yeah. There are no folding displays here. So I'm defending Will on this one. Okay. Oh, man. Come on, man. You, you what? Now, Go get it. Yes, I'm axe on M, Will. Okay, and call it the deck. Listen, listen right. this one, Mike, this one is different. Did you see the, the demo video where they showed you they had, like, Android messages, and then they opened it up, and it had the messages on one side, and then the, like it had the list of messages on one side, yeah. and the, the, the main message on the other side. Now, George, you have the Axon M. Does it do it like that? Uh, it can, yes. You, and with the Axon M, you can change the screen to display three different ways, the two screens. So, yes, you can do that. On yeah, the see? That's 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 nice, Mike. That's and the screen isn't folded. Well, yeah. The screen Come on, isn't man. folded. You could do the same Samsung, thing on, on a two thousand dollar fold. Samsung, you could do it right now. Samsung's implementation of the whole fold thing. They just wanted to have it so the screen could fold, which makes and the phone fragile. Right. And you know they got but a price increase. Saying, we are not there technology wise for folding screens, but and, they, and Microsoft is like, yeah, we're. We're not there, so we're not going to try to make something that crazy. Exactly. We're just going to make it so that it's useful, and you know what I mean. It's it's more durable because you're close to each other. Uh, it's like Mike. It's like a um. It's like a Nintendo DS or or something like that, where you open it and you got two screens and you can use them both, and then you can fold it. But I think there's right even fold. Doesn't it, George? Doesn't it fold the whole way around? Yes, all 360 yeah, degrees, yeah, all, which yeah. is another very cool thing about it. So, so, so I'm, I'm, I'm just going to take I'm, this. I'm just, we will on this one. Well, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, man. So this is the guy who said I'm not interested in holding you know the guy is wrong. The guy well, said he was well. not interested. <laughs> the, the brothers are ganging up on him. <laughs> <laughs> Right, man. Mike, Come that's, on. Mike, that's how Come on, that's George, how it's I have my back all the time. And Mike, Mike, listen, there's already people saying that it's not a folding, it's not a folding phone, which I don't care if it doesn't get the distinction of a folding phone. What it's doing exactly. is it's it's you, you know what I mean? It's it's usable, not like the to me, not like the fold. It's what it is. Yeah, uh, yeah. Now Microsoft just has to execute with the rest of it, but now Mike, 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 let me ask you now, are you Poo pooing the whole idea, or you're not intrigued with it like everybody else? Oh, no, no, no. It's it, when, Mike no, seen that, when Mike seen that keyboard fold down on that computer, and oh, yeah, I'm crazy. I fell in love with that. That's crazy. Yep. Well, okay, now, now, uh, Will, is this what's going to take you to come back to Android? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Oh, okay, yeah, oh. Yeah. <laughs> said he thought that New York would be $8.99. He's saying he thinks the duo twelve hundred. That's the same thing I said, Will. <laughs> Will, Will got the apple and Will, George. Will, no, remember, remember you can show the comments if you want to. Yeah, yeah, apple syrup. Oh man, he's on, on the phone. There we go. Okay. All right. All <laughs> right. I'm six. I'm just. I sometimes I actually agree with Will, and no matter how much Mike hates it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> got the what? Oh man. Nah. So, George, George ain't got no apple syrup. George. Me and George agree this time because it makes sense. It Mike makes is. Sense. That's Mike, why I'm Mike not. Is, I'm listen, not, George. George. I was Mike never is against George, George, George. Mike is, is is in the Stone Age. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Mike just doesn't like us agreeing. That's that's what's bothering him. Yeah. 
Mike doesn't want to fold age. Mike, 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 doesn't, age. Mike doesn't want a folding phone at all, no matter what. Stone age? <laughs> yeah. Let's not let's not talk about the one plus. What is it? The one plus seven. What is it? The seven eight? Yeah. The so one plus. The one plus eight. negative seven. Mike, Mike, <laughs> you're, Mike, you're like Back to the Future at a time because the old guy is against you and the young guy is against you. You're right in the yeah. middle. You're out of yeah. time. I'm in a bad spot. <laughs> yeah, man. But now, nah, Mike, that is that is nice though. I don't know if I I don't know. I, I might buy it. Uh, wow. I, might, I, I might get it. Night Tech is right above both those prices. In January, February, I could see myself getting an X. If he said that. So he I thinks want, the is going to be what? 1200 he, he thinks the duo is going to come in at 1200 which is what I thought. I said anywhere from 12 to 1400 <laughs> Gary Brown. <laughs> 12, yeah, 12, if, they do, if they do 1200 it'll sell. Yeah, it'll sell like hockey. And because it's got Android on it, it'll sell. Exactly. Exactly, because what's the largest operating system on earth? Well, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. My, it has, it has pen support, right? Both. Uh, my guess is I'd end up getting both too. But it has, yeah. it has pen support, doesn't it? Has what? Is it good? It has pen support, right? The yeah, phone. I, so. I know that the tablet did. The tablet did the phone. I don't think I remember seeing a phone. I mean, a, a pen on the phone. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, because well, I was. It'd be smart to add a, to add a, a stylus to it. Well, it's certainly it's time to do it. Yeah, even if it's optional. That would be now. See now, if you throw the stylus in here, or something like that, man, oh man, that's. See, Mike, that I'm, 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 oh, here goes. I was just about to say, Mike, where's Pat? I'm about to tell her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to tell her. Microsoft so, has Mike, a new All it needs is a stylus, and now it's got style. But a bum. Now Pat Pat is gonna want it. Yeah. Well, well, as Frank and Dean and Bing Crosby said, you've either got or you haven't got style. That's right. Mike Six Which told you to just get the flip phone that Jay will un uh, unbox. <laughs> there you go. I gotta yeah. watch that. Yeah. Did I see right? Jay's Jay's gonna do like a challenge. He's gonna live on a flip phone or something. Okay. I, I didn't get to see the video yet. Now, yeah. Uh, oh, you got Pat's attention now. She says, "I hear you." That's what you need. The style. Yeah, you get it now. She's sold. She's sold. <laughs> All right. That's, that's because Pat has style. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. George, that's right. George, she I, does. Was, I was talking to her the other day, trying to see why she hates uh, iPhone so much. And I don't. And I, I can't. I can't understand it. I can't. I don't know. I don't That's know that. her answer. She couldn't what? understand it. She couldn't. No, 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 no. I mean, I can't understand why she hates. Oh. Me. So she okay. couldn't explain it to you. Because, well, no. She just said she didn't. She didn't understand how to use it. And I'm like, it's easier than anything in the world. I said, Mike just got you brainwashed. It's the simplest thing in the world <laughs> to use. <laughs> I said, Mike just has you brainwashed. That's yeah, not, it's it's not, not true. Do I have you brainwashed in the phones? She knows you got her brainwashed because I don't you have gave her, her brainwashed. You gave her Android. You, you gave her Android, and now she's she uh, thinks that it she thinks that it's easier. That's all. You you guys see what Eleanor Jones said to me? You need to sing more, George. I think she's just being nice. Thanks, you, Eleanor. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, I can always. Uh, Sing, sing a song, sing out loud, sing out strong. <laughs> now, Mike, Yo. did uh, did you even know about the Microsoft event before? Everybody I, I, mean, I didn't like. Yeah, I didn't. I every year or so far since I've been doing this, I never really took notice. And same thing with same thing with Will and I. But even for the people that went to it, all this stuff took them. Totally by surprise. Mm -hmm. You know, the only I said the only one who seemed to know about it was MKBHD because he was invited there for a tour, but he was yeah. obviously under an NDA. He was testing their products. He said he had tested. Exactly. Yeah, he got, he got to see parts of Microsoft that nobody else is allowed to go in. You know, but Mike, did you see his, Did you see his interview with Nantella? No, I haven't had a chance to. It, it's pretty good. It's pretty I'm good. Gonna, yeah. When you I'm watch catch up. You know, talk about the stuff, you can see this guy is really excited about 
his company and his stuff, which to me is a great thing. You know? yeah. All right. Um, All right. Let so me get rid of this. Are we done with Microsoft? Yeah. Right. Yeah, I think we are. All right. Um, what else we got left? Mike, you we can go to Mike. We can go to your your uh. Well, we can go to one part. It ain't really much of a story. It was just a, the tweet from uh on weeks. <clears throat> I'm yeah. sure everybody's seen it by now. Yeah. Like wow. Like already. Like already. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Already. The, the new code hasn't even come out yet. The, the one plus eight. They're talking about the one plus eight already, and we're yeah. what? Uh, and the seven, the seven, well, the seven P hasn't even been released. Yeah, has seven P? Yeah, hasn't come out yet. That's yeah. Now, what are they thinking? What do you think with this design here? The leaks look to me. They look kind of. I don't know because they're keeping the same, like the same camera design from the seven Pro. You know what I mean? It seems right. like now, now. Did you guys see? There is an article associated with that tweet. I have it up. You got the where's the article, George? It's a, it's a, it's in that tweet. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll share the screen. All right. Okay, go. there's the screen. I mean, there's the yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. No, you want uh, me to read it? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I'm not about it. All right. This is about the one plus eight, which wouldn't be released until next May or June, but people are already speculating. So this is from somebody called Cash Carroll. I guess they're South Korean. No, I guess they're Chinese. Anyway, Cash Carol exclusive. One plus eight images leaked punch hole display, which you see right there, curved screen, and more, which is like the uh, One Plus 7 Pro. One Plus has been a pioneer in bringing out the best and latest technology for its users. Well, here it is with another update that confirms the arrival of the new design smartphone One Plus 8. And there you can see it's, it was Cash Carol and OnLix together like this. So you can see the punch. The punch there. What do you think, Will? I don't think they're going to do it. It's, uh, it's not ugly, but why would no. you go back? Well, well, let's go on the story because this may answer that. This information is brought to you by Cash Carol in association with OnLix based on the actual dimensions and engineering drawings leaked originally from within OnePlus. So I think they are going to do it. While we have earlier leaked some exclusive renders of the Sony Xperia 2 and the Motorola One Pro, among others, today we bring uh, to you a sneak peek into the exclusive features of the next generation device from OnePlus. Uh, overview. OnePlus 8 is a much-awaited upcoming smartphone by the Chinese smartphone manufacturer OnePlus. Talking about the specs and features shared by our trusted source, the renders of the new OnePlus 8 are engineered not on factory CAD, but on the detailed schematics as disclosed by the company inside it. That's what makes me believe it. As it can be seen in the exclusive leaked images, OnePlus 8 will feature an all new punch hole display, unlike any other previous generation devices from its table that either has a medium size or water drop notch. OnePlus 8 will also feature a triple rear camera setup that is one of the features which was akin to previous generation devices. And you can see all the pictures. Going by our source's words, we can also confirm that the OnePlus that OnePlus is finally rolling out the much anticipated wireless charging that blew me away feature in the uh, OnePlus 8, because they've never done that before. Other than this, OnePlus has also modified the design of this device's speaker at the bottom, unlike its other recently released models like the OnePlus 7T. OnePlus has given a smoother edge to the bottom speaker in this model. Talking about the dimensions and screen size, the phone will measure about 160.2 by 72.9 by 8.1 millimeter, uh, 9.3 millimeter, including rear camera bump in dimension and will feature a curved screen display that would be approximately 6.5 inches large. So much like the uh, OnePlus 7 Pro, I would think. The new OnePlus 8 will be the first phone from OnePlus's non-Pro model to feature a curved screen display. That's true. Up to now, none of their non-Pro models have had a curved screen. And okay, and that's about it. So we're very early and you're right, the uh, Latest phone hasn't even been released yet, but they're all over this. I I don't like it because 
I right. think the, the new notch with the pop up camera is a better look. I design. agree. I don't, like I, the, agree. I don't like the curved screen, but yeah, and I don't, yeah, I don't as much as I love my OnePlus 7 Pro, I don't like curved screens, period. But yeah. you know, I'd rather have a flat screen. But and, and I, I, I think the pop up camera is the better way to go. <clears throat> but and I don't think they would go backwards, it just doesn't. What's the like? There's no benefit to coming with a with a um control on the side unless you're worried that the pop up camera will start giving problems at some. Uh oh, Gary Brown is not a fan of One Plus. Okay, Gary, we can say that about the Pixel too. Come on now. You can say that about you can say that about, you can say that about the iPhone. Yeah, you can say that about the, almost any phone. About really. Any phone. Samsung switches it up from time to time. They are a little different, but. George, you say you don't care for curved screens, right? Right. But using you, you have the OnePlus Seven Pro. Yeah, right here. And 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 I still think it's the best phone I've got this year, including me. George, I'm trying to convince Mike that the OnePlus Seven is from not new because new it's more, I guess. It depends, but anyway, yeah, new That's is right. Are you saying the one plus seven or the one plus seven? One plus Pro? seven, one plus seven Pro, right? Is the better deal because you can get it for cheaper on swapping and buying the seven. What is it? The seven T. Mike yeah. is saying he doesn't want the curved display. I understand what he's saying, right? But the one plus, what is it? The seven, seven T is is like you're buying the six again to me. No, no, the seven T has most of the stuff that Pro has, but has. The Pro is, yeah, is a better I think Pro you get the 90 hertz display. You get a smaller battery. Yeah. You get the notch on the screen, which Mike, I guess But what's the battery? Why you gotta worry about the battery when you can use the quick charge they have? I guess. I guess man. that's probably uh, I, Mike that's I agree. what I did today. I agree with Will only because to this moment, the OnePlus 7 Pro is still my favorite phone of the year. Your gear, yeah, like, all right, you're going to get double the memory. Go ahead. But, you get but, the better. The design is better. You get a bigger battery. And it looks better. That circle on the back is ugly, man. See, yeah. that's the thing you don't like. That's what <laughs> really got you. Oh, yeah, that he damn circle on the back. You can't let go of that damn no, circle. Look, Mike, listen, the screen on the 7 Pro is crazy. There's nothing. See, that's the thing. If you use it, you'll be like, wow, this is really nice because there's Let nothing me, in the way of the screen. Let me turn it. Yeah, it is. Mike, you, can go and swap a, you can go and swap and get one probably mint condition, probably for like $550. Yeah, I, I, you can't beat that deal, Mike. That's. I'm, I'm booting it up because I, I just want to show you the screen. But now, George, you can't get on mic because we were trying to tell you to get a, a, a iPhone 10 instead of buying the 7. Right. You said it buying the 7. I didn't buy you. mean the 10R? I mean the 10R. Okay. So you got to agree with Mike on this one. <laughs> uh, no, but I have this phone, so I, how can I agree with him? Oh, okay. I guess, but yeah. I mean, let me see, Mike. I'm gonna go on swap because I. You go ahead and swap them. I right. want to know. Here, Mike. Look at that screen. Wait, now, wait, wait, this wait, screen. Wait. Yeah. You know, you know, on the other side of this room is all my gym. Uh huh. And almost every night, because I tend to do my exercise at night. Almost every night when I get ready, I'm either watching my sports shows or the football game, which is what I was watching last night. This is the device I take over to both my bicycles in here to watch because it's the biggest screen it's the most beautiful screen this is what i do all my viewing on while i'm exercising not even watching my own television okay so now, now mike, here's the, okay, now listen. mike they got the one plus seven pro how much how much uh, ram is on the seven t is it six or eight because it's only one model right it's only one i think yeah, um, I think it's eight. I think it's okay. eight. I think it's eight too, but let me look it up if I get it. All right. The one plus seven pro six gig one twenty-eight is five fifty-five mint condition. Then they got the two fifty-six, they got them starting at five ninety-five for a blue one, eight gig. So the same price. I, I don't know. I, I, 
I couldn't buy that ugly circle on the back. I guess that's what it is. <laughs> that is I mean, that is, no, that's listen, what it is. That's you what, can't that's take what it. Me, you can't handle the circle. It. That's what bugs me about it. But Oh, my God. Look, the, the circle on the back is ugly. You're getting the same. I am buying. I'm going to buy it. I might buy two. (laughs) One for each hand. And I'll put them up here and we got circles looking at you, okay? Uh, Uh, You know why you like it? I can can see see where you might buy two to spite the will, but I don't want to see Pat put you in the hospital, okay? Oh, I know. And she's going to get ready for it. She left, though. Because it looks like Motorola. That's why. Oh, uh, come on. Because I like Moto phones too. That's why you like that circle on the back. It's ugly. I don't. It ain't the circle. It's, it's the, ugly, well, it's the damn phone, everything else about the circle. And oh, man. You get the circle. But interestingly, remember, remember eight months ago, everybody said this was so ugly. So ugly. Yeah. And yeah. Everybody, yeah. Ugly. What was ugly? Everybody and his brother, when, when they were. Everybody said how ugly that camera was. But George, you know what? The the two on what is that? The um the 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 eleven. The two on that look better than this. Oh, you think so? Yeah, I I think they look about the same. You know, because the camera the camera hump is kind of it's kind of the same. The two on that look better than the three to me. Okay, all right. I don't know, Mike. I know you're gonna get it and you'll be happy with it, but mm-hmm. if, if I was gonna, if I was if gonna, I'm gonna recommend Mike, I'd say get the seven pro. To me, Mike, that upgrade is so it's not small, but you're getting the same software. You might as well wait for the eight, which you just saw what it was gonna be like. Because, oh, and, and I did, I did look it up on the uh, seven C. It's eight gigabytes. Okay, so you get two more gigs of RAM, yeah. but you get half the memory. But because you're you're getting your same notch. Uh, I don't know. Do what you got. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You love the headphone. You love the headphone jack. No headphone jack. That's true. Well, in either of them. No, yeah, neither. That's no. what I'm saying. Wait for the eight. You're gonna get the same software. You're already. Well, does the eight have a headphone already, jack? I I missed no, that. No, you're already. You're already getting Android ten. That's true. The only thing you're adding is the is the um the wide angle. You might as well but take two gonna, steps back. You're gonna get an Android 10 on the, uh, the seven. That's what I'm saying. He, and he's gonna, gonna get, get, it, it, on gonna get it, on it on the seven Pro too. Yeah, I've already got it. Right. Right. That's what I'm saying. He might as well wait for the eight. This is gonna come out in four more months, five months. No, I would say eight months. It comes out in May or June. I don't know. I know you're gonna get it, Mike. You'll you'll get it anyway. Just to spite you, right? yeah, he will. <laughs> yeah, he will. I'll be, I'll be like when goes the, work, the when goes to work, I'm gonna wear a monocle, okay? You know, you know. When he goes to work and he's trying to plug in his headphones, then he's gonna be like, "Man, I should have just listened to him." What do you mean? What, what, what are you talking and, about? And if their headphone jack is dead. And and headphone Mike, jack is dead. Mike, is you do, you do dead. have wireless earbuds, I hope. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's yeah got I don't have. Okay, then, then he got your phone won't be red. <laughs> That's there was no, no red one. You love that phone. Don't, talk, don't talk to me. Listen, don't no talk to me. You, 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 don't talk to me, Apple. All right. <laughs> you want red? Get an iPhone like me. Yeah. Yeah. You know my. Oh man. You ain't gonna. You know. Look. Don't talk to me until you get right. your Microsoft like, uh, Duo. Just like, okay. It's like, like you would tell me every year. You say. The Pixel is the same as last year. You're about to buy the OnePlus, and it's the same as last year, but it's uglier. <laughs> Your perception of it. Yeah, it's uglier, man. It's uglier. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. When they put that phone out, everybody said that circle is ugly. That's yeah, when, they, when they put out the iPhone 11, everybody yeah. said that phone is ugly. It is ugly, though. Those three things on the set is but, ugly. But you bought it. Yeah, but you know, it's not as ugly as the circle. <laughs> yeah. it's, yeah, not okay. as ugly. it's not as ugly as that circle. That right. circle is ugly. <laughs> <laughs> it's degrees of ugly. Uh, <laughs> that circle, uh, that circle uh, is another level of ugly. That's terrible. Gary Brown is saying moto has a bogo. Yeah, I know. I know, <laughs> yeah. Gary. Mike, please. You might, you might as well go buy a moto. Good night, Eleanor. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well go buy a moto. You'll get your circle up. <laughs> See how on the Night Tech is pushing the Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro. Yeah, because it looks, doesn't that look like the OnePlus? 
I believe it does. Yeah. Same same design. It's like five hundred dollars. Oh, four eighteen, right? Let's see. Don't forget, you can show those comments if you want to. Four eighteen, right? Uh, it's got a pop up camera, huh? And that's same, the, same, that's story. The one that's the same as the Red Me phone. I think I think that's what Munchie was saying. Get your get your one plus, Mike. Get your one plus. Don't 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 just get it. You no. love one plus. Get it. You gotta get, you gotta get what you want, I'm gonna come next week with Oreo cookies. You gotta <laughs> you gotta get what you want. I'm gonna I'll be eating Oreo cookies in front of all of these. Okay. You gotta get, you gotta get what you want, man. Well, wait, I, I'm on one side on the screen, Will's on the other, and you're in the middle. We have an Oreo cookie right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, you're right. Like if you if you can tolerate the circle and the, the notch, then I can. I just, can. You'll be good with it. Wait, wait, wait. You talk about notches. Look, look what I got. Wait, here, That's I get okay. Just like Night Tech said, I do like the flat screen. I'm, look at that. I, 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 got I got a bathtub. They, I wish they made it with the with the flat screen, the seven yeah. pro. Right? I do like flat screens better myself. That's true. But, but that just, just having the new bezel, I thought it was. It wouldn't matter until I got it. When I seen it, I said, "Yeah, this is the one, the one plus is just freaking awesome." Then I, was, I, I can't I believe you off, sold it. I, I cannot off, believe you sold I turn it. Off, your, wait, Mike, I turned off all it's those it. all those icons at the top. I turned like all of them off, so it's just all screen. Yeah, that's that is better. So all the icons at the top, he said, "I can't do that." <laughs> <laughs> I, leave, I think I leave like usually leave two of them on, and that's it. But. Okay. I don't know. Mm. What do you got, Mike? Right, Another so. two weeks? Two more What's weeks, that? right? Two more yeah. weeks to come out. I wish I didn't have no oh. work. We could have went to New York and stood in the line. Oh, and got more weeks early. If you can oh, get the pop up, the pop up event. Yeah, it comes out, I think, on the 18th. We could have went to New York and got it. It was the 18th? Okay, yeah, it's two Fridays from now. Yep. Oh, we only live, what, an hour and a half from New York? Yeah, but I can't stand outside in that line. I got to no. go to work. Okay. All right. Otherwise, I would have did it. We could have did it, right? We would have saw Rishi. I'm sure Rishi would be out yeah, there. Yeah, really, Rishi would be there. I'm sure he will. <laughs> I'm sure mm -hmm. he will. That's one plus biggest fan, man. That's right. Yeah, yeah. It really is. It wouldn't surprise me if one day Rishi ended up working for one plus. Uh, he will. They he know, will. They should give him some kind of job. They should let him advertise I, or do something. I agree. Yeah, they're getting a lot of free advertising with him. You know. Yeah, he pushes. But I agree. Dude, I, think it, I still think it's the best one of the year, the one plus seven pro. And, yeah, that phone. That phone is nice. That is a nice phone. Have they dropped any camera updates, George? Uh, not since the last one. But keep in mind, the last one, to some of us, kind of brought it on par with the Pixel. Yeah, Me being one. And the um, the ten ten point ten ten isn't out yet for it, right? Officially? Not officially. No, I I I'm running the uh, beta. Yeah. Oh, you're running the beta, huh? I've been running the beta for a couple of weeks. Yeah. That's the first time I ever put a beta on the phone, but I wanted to see it. And, and I like it. Oh, George, me and uh, Mike were talking. I'm sure you might have seen it on Twitter. Visible Wireless had like a, what would you call that, Mike? They wanted, basically, they wanted everybody to, to voice their complaints. Complaints, right. And right. All of a sudden, you saw a lot of one plus seven people came in and they said, you need to tell Visible to, I mean, uh, tell, put, put support for the one plus seven pro. Okay. And, the strange thing is, maybe a month ago, they released an update for visible support. But everybody's saying that when you get 10, you lose the support. Oh, so, so I think it's only, on, it's only on Android 9 Pie. Yeah, I think you lose support for Verizon. I don't even know how that would work. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't know. I talk about visible. Are you okay? Will, are you still yeah, doing I'm good? I'm still going. So what about said, you? Last week you were saying you might quit them. I guess you changed your mind. Because if we had that issue, me and Mike. Well, him had, and I were talking. Him and I yeah. were talking. I was on. I was on my S9, which has visible. He was right. on his iPhone, and also, boop. Yeah, it died while we were in the middle of a conversation. conversation we couldn't text. We couldn't yeah, do how nothing. Long, how long was it out? A couple of hours. A couple of hours, and then actually, I went to work. I think you'd make calls after a couple, like two or three hours, of, but then messaging, text messaging was, was trash. 
Okay. So, oh, so never mind. George, he said it is out. Night Tech said it's officially out for the 7 Pro. Oh, it is official now. Okay, I didn't even know it. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Mike, we could talk about Samsung owing us a couple of dollars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'll I hate to break it to you. I, I don't I, even know how I would find a record of having this phone, but I had it before. I, well, see, it's easier for me. I have that phone sitting in this drawer right here. Yeah, see? I Do you? Do you, yeah. George? Yeah, but they can have my ten dollars. I don't need. Um, what 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 uh, what variant? What what a carrier or or uh, that carrier? I think it was it was on Sprint at the time. Wow, somewhere in this drawer, I know it. <laughs> right. I don't All know right. where. Right here. <laughs> this is I, from. I got rid of it. You know, this is from Android Police. Uh, wait, wait, let, me, let me get it up. Oh, you're gonna find it. I have it right here. This is the one with the lawsuit, right? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's that's four. Yeah, I'm, I'm pulling it up. I'm old. It takes more time. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were getting the phone. No, I, I didn't. I decided. I, I thought you were digging out the phone. Yeah. Okay, you, it's ready. Okay, I just I know I didn't want to dig everything out of that drawer. Oh, all right. It, in, it is in that drawer, but I don't need the ten dollars out there. All right, go <laughs> ahead. Who's Same. reading? Samsung owes uh, Galaxy S4 owners $10 for cheating on benchmarks. Um, back in 2013, when the Galaxy S4 was the flagship of Samsung's smartphone lineup, we got word that the South Korean tech giant was artificially boosting CPU and GPU performance to report inflated benchmark scores. After three years and one class action lawsuit to reprimand Samsung for its infraction, a settlement is finally happening to the tune of $13.4 million. Samsung finds itself on the hook for paying $13.4 million in damages, breaking down to $2.8 million for settlement costs and $10.6 million for injunction relief. Taking all Galaxy S4 sales into account, that $2.8 million for victims of the benchmark rigging accounts to about $10 per person. So they, <laughs> they sold a lot of phones. Yeah, um, that was one of the best-selling phones they ever had. Yeah. In addition to this fine, Samsung is committing to refrain from manipulating benchmarks on its devices, but only only for three years. <laughs> yeah, so three years, three, three years down the road, we can take it again. We won't see for three years. Okay. Um, following this time frame, Samsung can technically reactivate the code responsible for cheating benchmark applications. However, reengaging this in this behavior would most likely result in future litigation. Details as to how owners can claim their $10 payout have yet to be released. We will update this article once we know more. That's crazy. They all cheat. Yeah, so so they're going to be cheating again in three years. They'll just find a better way to do it, is my guess. I don't even care about them scores, though. I don't see why people put so much. I, I, don't, put, I don't put anything into it. Yeah, so, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add to this. Uh, uh, I'm going to try and share this. You're sharing the screen, Mike? Yeah, I'm going to try and share a screen. Okay. If you can uh, share it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Let's, let's see who this comes. Okay. So uh, if you notice here, is it? Is it? There Wait. it is. Good. Okay. okay. Uh, if you notice here, well, the hard one thing see. I call. It's hard to see. Yeah, can oh, you it is. Yeah. Can you make it bigger? How's that? That's better. A little bit better. A little more. A little more. Okay, that's good. Okay. Uh, ordering third-party cell phone carriers, Verizon Wireless, AT&T, and T-Mobile, hereafter collected, uh, collectively referred to as the cell phone carriers to comply and compile, each, compile. compile and each produce a, a single Excel document uh, which uh, identifies the name and mailing address, telephone number, email address, blah, 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 going down here. But here's where it gets really good. Okay. Uh, customers who purchased a Samsung Galaxy S4 in the state of California between April 13, uh, 2013 and July of 2013. So it makes the article makes it out like everybody could get 10 bucks, but I'm reading here. It's only in the state of California. It's only two months, and it's and only it's, right. Yeah. Oh, so, three, three months. Now I, I just just happened to click on the link that's in in that article. Yeah, and, and 
and, and it did. I didn't you know, mean I, the cow, but Mike came up with their own brand of Mike, isn't that where the that's where the the thing started at, right? California. I think it started there. So they're saying in California, but I think they have to pay everybody. Yeah, my guess is they have to pay okay. everybody. California they still have to give their own money. version of things. So that, that but they're the, I think that's whoever the, the lawsuit started at probably was in California, and Samsung has to pay everybody. <laughs> six. <laughs> yeah, we pay you six. <clears throat> So, all right, I'm going to stop sharing this. I just wanted to just, uh, uh, I saw that. I'm like going, really? Just two months and it's in the state of California? Three months, yeah. Okay. Three months, okay. yeah. Um, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't read on, I didn't go on, but I just happened to, saw, uh, wow. Yeah. Look at all let's the hope, cases. Let's hope it's not just the three months. Yeah. yeah so. Yeah. Mike, did I you remember, know the did I remember when I bought that phone? Not a chance. Yeah. Mike, did What's you that? know this George's background? Yeah, it reminds me of the of the going to work in the morning. Yeah, he's still at work. Yeah, there you go. He's you know. still at work, Mike. That's probably <laughs> the traffic, you know. Yeah, that, well, that's 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 the schoolcool right there for you, folks. Uh, I, th I thought George was still at work. I guess, yeah, I, I just try to give you guys something visually different. <laughs> that is that is it's good stuff, George. Good stuff. All right, we got we got three more stories here, and they all relate to my favorite. Which one are you going to next? Google Pixel. Um, let's start with let's start with the contractors targeting George. Uh, George, yeah. Mike, take that one. Wait, wait, let me find it now. Payment. You got payments videos. Homeless people. The homeless people. Homeless. homeless. Okay. Yeah. This this was pretty. This was pretty sad crap. In my uh, wait. I'm wait. I'm sharing the screen as we go. All right. I got the screen ready. Will. And interestingly, the one of the consulting companies mentioned in here, Elmo used to work for. Oh, okay. Wow. All right, this is on uh, nine to five Google. All right, Mike, whenever you're ready. <clears throat> Report uh, in search of uh, Pixel Four face data, Google uh, contractors target homeless people. Uh, in order to prep for pickles, pickles, yeah. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, yeah, you sound like some gadget guy. Yeah, I know. Woo! Let me try that again, folks. Let me start over again. I need more of this, and that's just decaf. Uh, anyway, uh, in order to prep for Pixel 4 face unlock system, uh, Google admitted to hiring contractors to scan faces of random people in exchange for gift cards to get uh, gather data. Now, a new report reveals that uh, those contractors have uh, targeted the homeless and, what's that, George? May have. Uh, may have. May have. Yeah. Well, they did it anyway. I already got them convicted. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> target the homeless and trick college students into handing over their face scans. New York, uh, New York Daily News reports via The Verge that some Google's contractors may have been using questionable, if not scandalous, methods to gather face data for Pixel 4 face recognition. Apparently, one firm out of Atlanta by the name of Randstad uh, sent teams out to uh, gather data without telling people that they were working on Google's behalf and that their face uh, were being uh, recorded. They didn't even tell them. Yeah, they didn't tell them. <clears throat> Excuse me, one second. I'm sorry. Dry. Mm. Um, these teams apparently... Uh, uh, where did I leave off? Yeah, these teams apparently were told to target homeless people because they were least likely to uh, say anything to the media. Hmm. Uh, 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 further, they were also told to target those with uh, darker skin tones, and some workers were told that they should just tell people to just, uh, just to play with the phone or try this new app to get the $5 gift card. One supervisor apparently instructed workers to not to tell uh, tell people they were be that they were being recorded. That's <clears throat> Teams were dispatched to target homeless people in Atlanta, 
unsuspecting students on college campuses uh, around the U.S. and attendees of the BET Awards Festival in Los Angeles were among the places. Some were told that the face data by characterizing the scan as a selfie game similar to Snapchat, uh, they said. One said workers were told that they they uh, told to say things like, just play with the phone for a couple of minutes and you'll get a, uh, get a gift card. And they uh, they have a new app to try to get five dollars. Um, if the person uh, were to look into the screen after the task and been compl uh, completed, and say, "Oh, was was it taking a video?" They were instructed to say, "Oh, it's not, it's not really." The source says uh, one former employee of Randstad. Uh, sent a team of uh, to Atlanta to specify to target black specifically to target people there, including homeless black people. Uh, the full story in the New York, uh, the New York, New York Daily News contains many other one putting one of uh, uh, okay many other off putting quotes like those listed above, but. Uh, one of them of them interesting parts of the story as it took as it looked at hardware at Google to use to use it for in some in images we can clearly see elements of the pixel 2 and the pixel 3 but other images of the display uh, from a survey shows an earpiece that looks similar to the pixel 4 I guess that's the one that circled there okay. yeah uh, Google and its contractor Ransett have yet to commit to on the on the report. Yeah, Eleanor, Eleanor worked at uh, one of the big departments close there, but she was, she was working through Ransett a few years ago. I remember that. Yeah, because I mean, like the story. I said, didn't you used to work for them? She said, Oh yeah, when I worked at. And what did she do there? What was what, she, she just worked in the store. You know, and and Randstad was the company that was was getting the part time employees. Oh, you know. uh, oh, they're they're like um, you know, they need a, a company needs a bunch of employees to go yeah, do exactly. Got you, got you. She collected face data. <laughs> no, no, she didn't do that. <laughs> so, so she, uh, wanted, she wanted to get a black person's face. All she had to do was come home. You know, so. <laughs> so, uh, uh, this uh, isn't Google, a, like Gary said, this isn't Google's thing, but the company yeah, that I don't, they used did it. Yeah, so, right. And I don't, I don't blame Google for this at all because they probably, I would bet you Ramstad did this and never told Google about it till afterward. Well, Google right. found out about it afterward. You know. But, but let me ask you guys, let me ask you guys a question about, about this is. Google's doing this for the face recognition. How did yeah. Apple go and do this? Without did they do the same thing? They, I think I Apple did it too. Probably, I think Apple did Apple it too. Probably did the same thing. They just probably did it a lot more honestly, is my guess. But you know, how could Google know where advanced that was going to start lying to people and tell them they weren't being recorded? I think Apple did it too when they. Uh, but you know what? I seen what in the comments somebody had posted. The comment to the article. Somebody said the fact that Google is doing it this way, um, I guess it's kind of strange. Let me see what it says. All right. He said, if Google is going around um, gathering face data for their phones, it yeah. means either they're unwilling or unable to harvest the photos of people who use Google Photos. Well, that's a good thing for the for You know what I mean? Because photos. technically... They could just use those, you know, if they wanted facial data. But then he said, um, it may sim they may simply be unable to because they need a 3D scan for solely or a real face provides better data when scanned from multiple angles. Or maybe they can't use Google Photos because the government is looking at them too hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you already know they, they're able to match your face across. Like, they can find my kids from when they were newborn. Yeah. yeah, and you know what I mean, and it'll match them, and it knew. <laughs> yeah, right. Photos is crazy, but 
Yeah. It's a whole new meaning to the old show, the match game, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, for real. All right, let's see. We can go to let's go to this one. Um, more leaked uh, Pixel Four videos show face unlock for payments, new uh, assistant UI, and more. You want to post more? that one up there? Yeah, I'm, looking the right, I'm looking for the right one. It's uh, the uh, from nine to five Google with the payments. Yep. Okay. Mike, right, there's I'm nothing right. left. There's nothing left to be surprised about with the phone. It's over already, and we're two weeks out. And, and, and that's just it. That's the thing about it is that, you know, where Microsoft did so great. Oh, so yeah, because great. nobody, I don't think anybody had, like, leaks of what Microsoft was showing. But I guess it's because they're not, like, nobody anticipated them having a phone, I don't think. Right. Exactly. I've got this is like, um, Am I this, reading that one? Yeah, I got it, George. Okay. Um, I got the screen shared already. All right. Let me see. All right, this is on 9 to 5 Google. All right. Um, we already know a ton about the Google Pixel 4, and thanks to some leaked marketing videos we've shown you over the past couple of days, we know more than expected. Now some more leaked Pixel 4 videos are showing off face unlock for payments and more. XDA developers have been digging into leaked Pixel tips APK that earlier today showed some camera shortcuts and a new pro session feature. Uh, now some videos have also been extracted from the app. These videos mostly reiterate what we've seen in the previous leaks, including our own from this week, including how motion sense gestures work. Another video gives us another look at the new Google Assistant UI. In this video, we can see once again just how fast the new Google Assistant will be on the Pixel 4. Further videos show Google Assistant's continued conversation feature, filtering results in Google Photos, and also using the Assistant to send a reply to an incoming notification. It's all very quick, and we're betting this is going to be a huge marketing point for Google. Now, George, I don't know. Can you play the video with mm -hmm. that show? Are we allowed to play the video? Why not? <laughs> what are they going to do, strike me? <laughs> Google okay. monetize me? Yeah. Yeah, there's no sound to it. But it shows you. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it just shows you how to how, how the assistant's gonna work. Yeah. Um, most interestingly, though, is a look at how payments will work using the Pixel 4's face unlock system. When a user goes to buy something in the Google Play Store, they greet it with an, with an interface that first tries to identify their face. Once that is completed, the user then has to tap confirm. This is somewhat like what the iPhone requires, except in that case, a tap of the side button is used. Presumably, a similar process will be used for Google Pay. So here's the face unlock video. It's nice. Yeah. Select your purchase. Okay, verifies with face unlock. And you're good to go. Just show your face and you've paid. Yeah. iPhone had that two years ago. No. <laughs> well, the iPhone did have that. Yeah, I know, sure. but it's it's pointless to even you know. But that's how it goes. I'm surprised Android is. They're really late finally coming with something for mm. to do that because yeah. Samsung was trying to do that forever with their iris scan and you know they never got it right. Well, you know what it is. I think they had it right, but Android has to bake it into their thing before anybody's going to trust it. Exactly. Like so if it's not. Because Samsung, you could only use it for Samsung apps. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's that's pretty crazy. And then Samsung basically got rid of it anyway. They they killed yes, Iris Scan. Yes, they did. Which was and it was secure. Like it was it was to me it was slow, but it was secure. Yeah. So it's pretty crazy. All right, George, you can take the last one, I guess. The one from Droid Life. Yeah. Okay. That one. That one just came out today. Okay, get it shared. Okay, I've got it. All right. This is on droidlife.com. And surprisingly, oh, that white looks nice. <laughs> AT&T could carry Pixel 4. And here's what the phone looks like. George, what? George, 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 did you hear him? Did you hear? Him? <laughs> wow, that phone looks nice. I know, I know. Uh -huh. Mike, listen, Mike, uh -huh. they're doing this. They're doing uh -huh. this. Just it's going to happen, George. They're doing Christmas. 
And Mike, you, they're doing Christmas. this. Listen, Mike, you know, you know why they're you know why they're doing this? Because I left uh-huh. AT and T. Now they're like, come back to AT and T because the pixels. No, no, don't give me that. Don't give me that cockamamie story. <laughs> because it's all about Will. We know that. That's it. Uh-huh. That's, that's why they did it. AT and T's carrying it for me. All right. After the Verizon exclusivity around Google Pixel phones died with the launch of the Pixel 3a, T-Mobile and Sprint were quick to jump on board. AT&T, for some reason, continued to hold out, though that may soon change with the launch of the Pixel 4. According to an email sent to AT&T store managers that was picked up, I guess, by Phone Arena, select AT employees will have a chance to seed the Pixel 4 once it arrives in the coming weeks. To seed a device as an AT&T employee simply means a chance to test the device and represent it for your store, sort of as sort of as the go-to expert on hand. Assuming this email is legit, this is pretty big news. Having the Pixel line at Verizon, T-Mobile, and Sprint in U.S. cellular is a big deal, but adding AT&T to the mix means Google could have everyone a part of the a part of Pixel 4 and Pixel 4 XL launch, something they haven't been able to do for the first time for the first three years of the Pixel line. Will the addition of AT&T help Google sell Pixel phones, which it has struggled to do in the past year? It certainly won't hurt. With that said, people are still going to have to decide if owning a Pixel 4 with specs not quite on par with the competition is the smartest buy. So I think it'll help. What do you guys think? It can't hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Good. It can't. It can't hurt. I mean. Yeah. So yeah, then now I'll have all four major carriers. AT and T, if they officially support it, that would be good. Yeah. That would be, you know, even though they did start supporting the pixels because you were able to use um, Wi-Fi calling on the two and the three. Okay. So they did support them. So you were on it, yeah. So. They did, yeah. They did add support. It just took a while. I think Mike is reading something else. I was, I was looking to see uh, what, what the going price was of uh, uh, one plus six. One plus six on, no, on. Uh, you're not gonna sell it. He'll, he'll Don't sell lie. One plus seven pro. I, I would if I were him. You know. Yeah, but he. Oh, don't sell it, Mike. I told you what you should do with that phone. What should I do? And you didn't listen to me when I told you. I told you to give it to Mike. Oh, that's right. He did. Yeah. Sure. Headphone jack. Good screen. He wouldn't have had no problems with it going slow. Nothing. (laughs) (laughs) Gary Brown. (laughs) That's right. No RCS. Yeah, that's 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 his favorite one there, Gary. RCS RCS is dead, Gary. It's not it's 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 not even it's it's nothing. RCS is gone. Mike, I I told you to to give that to Mike, man. That's what I would have did. It had everything he needed. The headphone jack, the screen was good, the cameras were good. He would have had no problems with it. No, you, went he and got, you went and got the LG G7? Seven. Yeah. He wouldn't have had a wide angle, but I'm sure he wouldn't have minded. <laughs> he, he will if he gets the <laughs> one plus seven pro. Well, no, if I'm saying if, if Mike gave him the one plus six, he would have been fine. Had the, the I was curious. That's what the I, fingerprint was ju- sensor I was curious. Was, uh, the fingerprint sensor is amazing. The the, the color, it's red. And Mike, yeah. you would have been able to keep an eye on it instead of selling it. I know you're not selling that phone. No, no way. I, I was curious you're what not. was you're, going. You're, for. you're too attached to that phone. I saw you I had am. like a whole you had like a whole Instagram post showing you when you changed the screen protector. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's it going for on Swapper? Huh? What's it going for on Swapper, Mike? Uh, in a, in a threes. Okay. Oh, that's in a three. Good. Somebody has a new, brand new red one in the box for. For four thirty, not bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not bad. No, you're not selling it, Mike. You're not. Nah, you, I was you, were, curious. You, you wouldn't be able to go back and watch your YouTube video the same if you sold that. Phone. I'd be crying. I'd be crying. Wait a minute. I really want. I want to find that because if everybody hasn't seen that video, hold on. Let me see if I can find it and post the link. You remember that video, George? <laughs> yes, I remember it. I remember seeing it. Sure. That video was good. <laughs> I, I, I don't that, even. 
that that must have took you some time, Mike. Will's yeah, it took a lot of time. Will's going to get you subscribers despite you, Mike. No, yeah, well, please. I'm sure. Come on over. Mike is hey, almost at, he's almost, what are you, almost at 800? You're right there. He's over 800. I checked it before. Trade it. Trade a moto zoom. What? What, Gary? Trade, <laughs> trade, it, <laughs> trade it at moto zoom. Uh, oh, uh, get out of here. Get out of oh, here. Yeah, Mike, you got 810. Mike, did that, um, did that, did that video, did you get a lot of views for that? No, I got squat for it. I didn't get much. You put so much work into that. I know. I really did. I didn't get much for on it. I'm going to go find it. I'm, I'm going to try and find it, it now. I see. I, I can't a, remember what the thumbnail was. It was a picture of the of the, of the uh, red. Ah, I see it. I see it. One plus unboxing. Wow, that was a year ago. Oh, my God. That's all the views you got for that video? Yeah. How, about, how many? That is crazy. 344. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Wow. Yep. Yeah, that is crazy. Yeah. yeah, he put. Wow. I'm trying to find. There was another video I did on it. I think it, I might you, have you done a couple videos on it. What had a better? Uh, I did an, one on like after having it for a few. Yeah, that, yeah, you did. I uh, look, 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 I, after four months of the, I got more views on after having it for four months versus the actual uh, unboxing video. Okay. Okay. Wow. Yeah. You even. You people. even got dislikes, Mike. You even got dislikes on that one. Three Did dislikes. I? Yeah. Let me see. I yeah. got three dislikes on. Okay, yeah. on the thumbs up. Yeah. Tell, tell them, don't be dissing. I know. Wow. Is, Do you I, still hey, use those, Mike? The bullets, the bullets, buds. You still use them? No, they're sitting in the box over here. <laughs> I, uh, Pat, Pat, oh, Pat didn't like them. Pat didn't like them because they wouldn't fit her ear right. I couldn't get their, I couldn't get the buds to fit right. Uh, I just, they're just sitting there right now. Dang, that phone is nice. That red is nice. Mm -hmm. It is nice. I'm yeah. Looking at the video, yeah, that is nice. It's no One Plus Seven Pro, but it's nice. <laughs> you hear that? You need Mike? Just the Viper and Sarah Lee to get subs. I know Viper. Who's Sarah Lee? Yeah, I don't know Sarah Lee either. I just know. You know I, Sarah Lee's a cake to me. <laughs> yeah, my Viper's getting big. You know, starting to, you know. Yeah. Wow, yeah, my that phone is nice. That red is crazy. Yeah, I mean, I got it in this case right now. Yeah. The sandstone's really, really nice. The sandstone's really nice, but man, oh man. You can never find a color like this. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah, just... Yeah, so wait. It, it so 17, Mike, what color... What color would you get? Because they don't have like no. I know they only got two colors. I'm. I. I, I was. I wasn't sure. Everybody's going to get the blue. I was. I was tempted to get the black one or the gray. What? Oh, oh, Will. Before you get rid of that. Color, oh yeah. I just one thing. Now, Mike and I don't know who Sarah Lee is, but you can't diss her because nobody doesn't like Sarah Lee. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Now you. Oh, now man. you got it. Now you got it. You see here. I wonder if there's. Now wait a minute, Mike. That one plus six is that your first one plus? Yes, it is. What's up? That was your first one. Huh? So, I guess we can talk about it since we don't have no more stories. Do you think? Yeah. Do you think that was the best? Is that the best Android phone you've ever had? Yes. Remember, so? remember, I had the Pixel, the Pixel, yeah, my daily driver, and yeah, I said the, the, it just started destroying the Pixel. Now, all the way around, I felt. Now, of course, I didn't have the one, <laughs> but the one plus seven pro is by far the best on drug for an iPad. I can say that. Wow. You uh, wait, a minute. George. What'd you say was the best Android phone? The, the one, one plus seven pro. Yeah, and pro. I keep in mind I have the Pixel three A, which I love, but the one plus seven pro is the best Android phone I've ever had. Just best all the way around. Best all, uh, around. all around, all around. Phone. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Now your phone, Mike, your six doesn't have dual speakers, right? No. Yeah. See the seven, no. the sevens. I seven guess they all have dual speakers. Yeah. They all have dual speakers. You get the wide angle. And that's the other reason I always use the seven pro when I'm exercising, because of the dual speakers. It it sounds better than all the others. And and I have to and I have to do a speaker test between the Pixel 3a and the iPhone and the uh, 
one plus. There we go. I'm checking. All right, I'm checking accessories now for the uh, 7T right now. Hmm. <laughs> he's determined not to get the pro. He's 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 not gonna even if he liked it, George. He's not gonna buy it because I recommended it. <laughs> yeah, no, he's, gonna, he's, gonna, he's gonna get the seven T just to spite you. I uh -huh. recommended it, so he's like, nah. Even if the, even if One Plus said, listen, the seven Pro is six ten, and this one, he still wouldn't get it. No, he ten dollars difference, he wouldn't get it. Uh, Big House said he just got a One Plus Seven Pro and it's growing on him. Okay. Why wow. growing? It should be instamatic. <laughs> growing Wait, volume. Is that, is that you his first, first one plus? Drop kick, George. No, you, you don't drop kick people in their seventies. Because George would drop kick you no. in a heartbeat. George, George is too tall. I'm only six two. I used to be six four. Yeah, but I don't know if Mike can get up there and get your face. No, oh, well. Might not be too effective. <laughs> I ain't gonna. I, 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 that's what works. All you know. have to look at my face with, with the, some boxing. It's been hit plenty, so it, it'll take it. Don't worry. Ariel, what are you doing? Yeah, I mean, let me see. Is that his first one plus? I'm surprised he said that. Like it's growing on him. I'm surprised. The I, one plus is. I fell in love with the thing. I love the pixels, but. And as soon as soon as they upgraded the the cameras, oh. That's the only game. thing that the Pixel has over it is the camera. Right. And once they did their final upgrades, I think they're dead even. But even even without all the upgrades, now they, to me, they the Pixel won't top it to me because they don't have a wide angle. And yeah, Nigel's saying the same thing. And Nigel, Nigel has the 7 Pro 5G. He loves that device. He takes incredible pictures on that thing, too. What does he have, the 7T or the 7 Pro? He has right? the 7 Pro. <laughs> Pro. He has the 7 Pro. That's what you need, Mike, the Pro. But but uh, Mike, get the, get the, the, awesome pictures with that. Mike, thing. listen, get the Nebula Blue Seven Pro. There you go. Then you have red and you have blue. You'll be good every year. Every year when they release a different color, you should get it. When it's just, <laughs> then of course when they get a white one, then you had the whole thing: red, white, and blue. So wait, you yeah, you've had that phone for a year. That's all you got to do, Mike. You should just reduce your reduce your collection down. Just stick I am. One uh, I I Take am. Look, Stick with one plus and you'll you heard you'll, him. You heard him, George. Stick with one plus. So I can do this. Go then, on. Then you can go up to you. Do, you, Mike. you Rishi will be the guys, you know. Mike, if look, yeah, look. The way Rishi supports one plus, I'm surprised that he even buys other phones. I me too. Me too. But because he I, loves one plus. He's almost convinced on the uh, iPhone because of you and me, bro. But yeah, but I don't think he'll. He's not gonna like it more than the One Plus. No, but I, I think, I like, but I think he'll like the cameras because they're better than anything that's out right now. Like the cameras. the cameras are good. The cameras are good. But yeah, the software experience. That's how I was telling Mike. I miss the form factor of the One Plus, even though it was big. Yeah, it is big and uh, heavy. It's a big phone, but uh, the battery is 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 good. But you know, you know, it's One Plus, so it's fast. Speaking it's of really battery, nice. the battery on the 11 is killer, man. Killer. It's good, too, right? Yeah, yeah that's how it is yeah. on the 11, uh, the 11 Pro. Yeah, and your battery is better than mine, but just the 11. Yeah. I mean, I, I got uh, seven hours of screen on time one day. Yeah. yeah, it's good. It's really good. Seven hours, yeah. Yeah. Even, but even on the OnePlus 7 Pro, you get good battery life. No, you do get good battery life. You get yeah. very good battery, especially for having a 90 hertz display. Yeah. If if I if I do a uh, my phones of the year this year, unless something drastic happens, one plus is going to be number one. I think the iPhone 11 is probably going to be number two right now. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what I would pick for the phone of the year. I don't think it's going to be the Pixel because no, for me, it's Pixel, the Pixel is going to be the camera is going to be the the main thing of the phone. Yeah. I mean, Google Assistant will be better, but it's not going to be. You know. I mean. The Pixel's probably going to be overpriced. Yeah, OnePlus is, I mean, even though they did raise the price, they gave mm -hmm. you no no notch, no punch hole. If the OnePlus is worth every cent of it. Cool speakers. It's, yeah. If they kept the headphone jack, Mike would be all over it. Probably. <laughs> or Mike Jr. would. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think Mike's son would love would love the OnePlus. OnePlus. I agree. Yeah. He's liking it. He's I liking the he's, he's liking the LG right now. Okay, that's good. 
Good. Are you going to do a, are you going to do a follow up video with him about it? I'm going to. I'm yeah. I'm behind on that. I gotta. I gotta get with him. It, it just seems like the natural thing to do. Oh no, no I want to. I, I I really do. So. So going to play. Well, yeah, I haven't played that Call of yeah, Duty Mobile. I haven't played that. You got eight plus hours of screen on time on on the One Plus. Wow. Yeah, that, uh, almond, yeah, that was the one I had. The almond, oh, okay. well, man. we did, yeah. Oh, on the on the six, you had the six that was almond, right? No, I had the, no, the, seven, the, the seven. white six, oh. seven pro was almond, yeah. It was like a gold color, yeah. Night Tech says LG G8 for sale. One, matter of fact, my nephew just bought a one plus seven pro, okay. He was going back and forth. At first, he wanted the new. He kept going back and forth, and then he ended up getting the one plus. Okay, he I'll, loves I'll it. Please, please, we're down. That's, down his down. First, that's his first one plus. Let me ask him what color he got. Okay. Yeah, I don't think anybody could go wrong with a one plus seven pro, you know, and probably not with the seven T either for that matter. Mm -hmm. Except for that circle. <laughs> when's, the, when's the availability? When's the one plus seven T available? The eighteenth. Okay. So, Mike, if you order the 18th, you'll probably have it like the 20th, something like that, 21st. So, You're so in, two, so in two or three weeks, weeks, we might have Mike on here with a one plus seven two. Okay. All right, Mike. Next week's my next week's my week. Yes, it is. And, and I'm gonna have Oreo cookies. I'm gonna probably hang Oreo cookies back here. Too, okay. Okay. Just for Will. Okay. I'm gonna get or black circles. I'm gonna stick up back here. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Nigel, come on. Don't don't talk about that Huawei. Nah, come on. You know Nigel's not going to say anything. Well, he did say something good about the Oh, the year? With the Google thing, you can't get the Google apps, and then you could get them. And then they said something about they took it away again because of the back door. Did you, we didn't even talk about that. What Munchie put in the um, Telegram. Did you see that, George? Yes, I, I, I saw some other uh, stories on it, what too. Do you, what do you think about that, George? I, I couldn't touch the... Uh, 334 because uh, of their problems with Google. They, you know, nobody's, in my opinion, people were able to sideload it and then stuff still didn't work. So well, no, I, no, no, no. They were able to sideload it and then something happened where whatever they left open, I guess it got exposed and then they closed it because some people said they couldn't put it on there anymore. Right. Mm. So, so, so I, wouldn't, I wouldn't touch it. Yeah. I, I, you know, it's to like, me, it, to me an, Android, an Android phone without Google is, is just... A brick. I mean, yeah, make, yeah, you might make good photos, but other than that, to me, you got a brick. The Note 10, uh, no. Nah. It's nice, I guess, but no. Nah. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't see that because MKBHD put up his comment, Six's comment. Uh, yeah. I don't see that because all year long, MKBHD has been loving the 7 Pro. So I, I'm betting that's what he picks for phone of the year. You know what? He's I think he will say the new because he's gonna say it's got the S Pen. And he's gonna say the camera's better than the one plus seven, the wide angle. Meanwhile, what's in his pocket? He's what's gonna in pick, his pocket? He's, yeah, he's, he's gonna pick one Samsung. plus seven pro in his pocket. Right. Samsung, that's right. George, George, Samsung cut the check. So he's gonna he's gonna pick Samsung. <laughs> he's not, he's gonna, that's how he can afford to build the new studio, okay? He is not that kind of guy. You know, he's just now, straight up. Harry done. said the phone of the year is the three A. The three A is very close. I can't, I have it sitting right here. It's real close. Harry, real close. Now, Harry, I'm gonna tell you right now. I don't know if I'm gonna get the pixel or not, but even even if I love the pixel. After having the seven pro, to me, the seven pro is gonna win because. Even if the camera isn't as good as the oh. pixel, unless you're zooming in and really looking for stuff to be wrong with it, for six, well, for six sixty nine, <sighs> you can't beat that phone. No, you, you can't beat the seven pro because the pixel That's always has performance issues. Something is always wrong with it. One but plus, I, but, but, I, but I do have to say, the three best phones I have ever owned in my life. <laughs> a crazy, no and the iPhone 11. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say, George? The three I was laughing at. The best phones I've ever owned in my life is the uh, OnePlus 7 Pro, the Pixel 3a, and the iPhone 11. 
Uh, no, Mike. No, 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 no. You said December. I'm not buying the pixel in December. Uh, no, no. I no, 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 no. no, we said by December you'll by have December. Said, I'm he's not buying You're it. gonna be back on Android. No, no, no. You're I'm gonna be back on it. Android. I, I can see it's gonna I'm gonna get my dinner sooner. George, what was the bet, George? He told right. me I was buying the pixel, right? No, said, I said Android. No, I said Android. Android. We, have, we could go back and look at the video, but if <laughs> I remember he said you were gonna have the pixel by the end of the year. That's what I remember. That's what I remember. I'm not buying the Pixel because I'm not giving Google a thousand dollars. Except you just said to Gary, if I get the Pixel, <laughs> I'm not gonna buy it. Listen, listen, listen. listen. Oh I'm not buying God. it in December. I'm not buying it in December. I'll wait till uh, they, till they do a, a, a deal in January when they're not selling. You know what the That's problem what here is, Mike? Once once Google gave him a free Pixel phone, now he's looking for the next free Pixel. Now I don't want to pay oh, for yeah. it. Anymore. That's right. Oh, That's right. Yeah. Because it'll be good, but it'll have something wrong with it. It'll have some kind of issue. They always do. But it'll be free for you. You still have a pixel, and I win my bet. That's true. <laughs> that's, that's true. Yeah, because right. he didn't say you'd buy it by the end of the day. He okay, said you'd listen. have it by the end of the day. I say Andrew. I said he'll be back on Android, but that's okay. If I, if you I, can do if both. I lose, if I lose, I'll get you dinner at McDonald's. <laughs> Bull crap. We <laughs> said red, uh, uh, Robin. Robin. Red, Robin. Okay, okay, red Robin. Red Robin. Red Robin. I would pick Wawa. Red Robin because I was going to eat. North said Wawa. <laughs> I'm picking that over McDonald's. We can go to we can go to Red Robin. There okay. you go. I'll let you get the bonsai. It's called the bonsai burger. The pineapple. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll unlimited uh, French you fries. Guys, if you guys ever lose a bet to me, I want it to be a Five Guys. Period. Okay. Ah, five Guys. I haven't been there in a long time. Yeah. Wow, yeah. My favorite burger place in the world. I haven't been there in so long. Yeah, I don't uh, know. I, I will. I bet you they didn't have a uh, 20 car line around, around the building. Oh McDonald's was ridiculous. I'm telling you. I'm 20 telling you. cars? Huh? 20 cars around the building? Oh, McDonald's. Yeah, at McDonald's. It was insane, George. I was trying to get home from the gym. So I went to get my kids something to eat. And I was like, I can't wait in this line. I, well, I, couldn't, I couldn't say anything because around here at lunchtime, up in Cleveland, the town above us, and here in Ottawa, where I live, lunchtime, there's 20 cars around Chick fil A, like every oh, day. My God. Chick fil A is every day. Yeah. Yeah, Chick-fil-A. Chick no matter when you yeah. go, like yeah. it's crazy. The only time is not. Only time is Sunday. Yeah, Sunday, <laughs> exactly. Sunday. Sunday, you can drive right around the drive. There you go. Go to the building all you want to. <laughs> if you go. There, if you go there between eleven and one thirty, you're in. Yeah. Yeah, Chick-fil-A is, is is ridiculous. Yep. You would think they were giving the food away. Yeah. Yeah, people right. like it. Oh, by the way, have either of you ever gotten your hands on the Popeyes chicken sandwich? I tried it. Oh, I man. tried it when it in the beginning before yeah. they sold out. Is it that great? It was pretty good. Was it better? It's not. Than it's not. It's not. I think it's better than Chick Fil A. I think it is because I'm not really that yeah. much of a fan of Chick Fil A chicken yeah, sandwich. I like Chick Fil A. Like okay, and I'm a chicken guy, but uh, Chick Fil A didn't impress me all that much. You know? I like their their little. They got these little breakfast things that those are good, like the breakfast minis or something. Those are good. But I don't really care for their chicken sandwiches. Popeye's chicken sandwich was, to me, it was better than theirs. Okay, but, but for it's chicken, I, I, I didn't eat chicken more than any other, more than anything on earth. But for me, give me Zaxby's uh, Zensation salad, which is full of chicken. That is awesome to me. Uh, see, I don't got one of those around here. It's not worth. That guy running into the Chick Fil A and holding them up or whatever for yeah a yeah the, the, the guy and the two women that pull, yeah. pull the car on him yeah that was yeah, pretty it's freaking not, ridiculous. it's yeah. not worth all that but I mean it yeah. was it was good but okay. even when I got it it was ridiculous because people were waiting in line and you get there and they'd be like we're sold out like yeah. they were sold out like two or three times when I tried that was all over the country at the same time and I don't think they even got it back yet they had to pull out an ad that was like. We're sold out of chicken sandwiches. They won't. They'll be back in a while, and we'll tell you when. Wow. How that? <laughs> how that even happens? But cool. That's crazy. Oh, oh, and by the way, I know Rishi and I both tried the Impossible Wasp, Whoa. and we yeah. both loved it. I, yeah, I had should. it. It was good, and it I really it. did t taste like a real Whopper. But I was listening to a radio show the other day, and guess. Why it tastes so good? 
Because well, it's got meat in it, doesn't it? Because, no, it's filled with saturated fat. Oh, it, no. They pump saturated. That's what makes it taste so good. So oh, you never no. go get a regular burger. You know. Oh, no. And it, now they're doing the same thing at KFC. They have this fake. Yeah, they have an impossible chicken. Yeah, yeah. It's full of saturated fat. So you might as well just get your regular fried chicken. Yeah, but I guess if you're trying to be vegetarian or whatever, you can. But you're still pumping the same stuff into your arteries. So what's the difference? But they're not eating meat. Okay. I guess. Oh, Mike, did you know OnePlus has a chat on their site now? I just seen that. I didn't know that. On what on the on actual one, you go to their site, it says like you can chat with the people. That's cool. On on the American site? Yeah, I'm looking at this thing. This is so not not nice looking. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're not a fan of circular camera. Oh we my god. god. I'm looking at it. When you don't like something, you really don't like something. I do like the silver color, though. That silver is nice. Okay. I like the silver, but I don't like that, that circle. Oh, my God. You're too much. Uh, so and yeah. The Lone Ranger likes silver, too. Mike, is it a bigger... So is, is it the same size as the 6? No. I think it's a little bit taller. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, you'll get height. <laughs> And all, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. like, it. but you already have Nightscape, right? Yeah, yeah, oh, I yeah. got, yeah, but I, I, you don't like that camera module. Oh my, just, you know. Well, now I'm looking at all the other stuff. I know they they made the charging faster. Ugh. And the 90 hertz display, but that uh, that 90 hertz display is hard to beat. Trust me, you get used to it. You know, yeah, that's what nice I've been hearing. Animations on scroll down how it. That looks nice. Well, I can get a case. I can get a case in red, so this way I get my red phone anyway. And it's a it's a six point five five inch display. Yeah, okay. one hundred twenty eight gigs. Yeah. Do what you got to do, Mike. What is it's going to be? It, huh? Is a trade in on it? They have a trade in program. I'm, I don't know what they give you for. And Mike, they have a triple camera, so you know it's going to be better than than, than your one plus. They know? have it. Where's the trade in at? Where's so that at? The bottom, it says trade in. Let me see what they'll give you. It'll probably give you eighty dollars. What memory does your six have? Uh, one twenty-eight. One twenty-eight. Oh well, you got to put the I in the I. They're ridiculous. I'm looking. Yeah, for, I'm not. I'm not seeing trade. Where are you seeing trade in? Go all the way to the bottom. I am all the way at the bottom. Go to, go to one plus seven T. Uh, yeah, I'm all the way at the bottom right now. Yes. Just yeah, that's right. I'm all the way down to contact us and phones and all that stuff. You see trade-in? It says programs. Um, oh, trade-in program. I got you. Got you. Okay. Yeah. I just clicked on it. Yeah, you got to put your eye in the eye, though. Act now and upgrade to a OnePlus 70 from $259. You can check your trade-in value. And oh, you know they're all... They're all one up plus to, phones. So one, uh, yeah, one plus, so it's not worth it, Mike. One seventy. One seventy. You're better off selling that and swap it. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. The seven pro is only three seventy. That's how much they think their phone. That's bad. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's terrible. You do. That's terrible. Three seventy. Yep. One plus one up to ten dollars. Oh my god. <laughs> up to ten dollars. Okay. Wow. The six and the six T get the same amount. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Wow, look at the difference. The seven gets two thirty the most. Yeah, and the pro gets three seventy. Well, the seven was is a lot below the seven pro. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Well, Mike, you let me see. So next week is George. No, next week is you. Me. Is you, yes. And then it's George. So yeah. If you get it, Mike, we can switch so you can go because you gotta, you gotta, uh, <laughs> you can you can do it on that week right. when you order. Yeah, because on the 18th it'll be me. Yeah, and then Mike, you gotta put out a video. Yeah, if you got it on the 18th and the following <laughs> week, you, you should do it, Mike. You see, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, you I'm, now I'm, I'm running I'm, your channel, Mike. You gotta put out a video on this. I, I'm gonna tell you now. I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Uh, if I make a video, it ain't gonna be like the last one. I can tell you right oh, now. No, 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 that was—I could tell that took a long time. It was nice though. 
That was mm-hmm. nice. I can't believe it was that little bit of views. That's crazy. You need to circulate that again. I'm going to share it on Twitter. Sure. You should, have, you should have had so many like Indian views for that video. I couldn't believe it either. Yes, you're right. And I, like I said, I got more eyeballs on it saying after four months. Yeah, right. the, the algorithms is, is, well, I know it's been a year, but it's just, it's just bad. Well, it, could, it could partly be more people were interested by then. You know, then at the beginning, too. You know, people had people had their hands on it, that kind of stuff. By the time I came out, George, it was already out for a while. Yeah, yeah but wait. It, oh, okay, okay. Was that the phone that made OnePlus more popular here, though? I wonder. No, the phone that made OnePlus much more popular here was the T because they the beat the first one in the T Mobile store. Right. That 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 helped. But I think I think the momentum started. With the six, it probably did. It probably. started, and then when they got to the T, it really, really was taken off. Well, they heard, they heard you had it, Mike. So they were, you know, they were all in. You know. Well, just, that's just, that's why the Pixel's going to AT and T for Will. Okay? There you go. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and so, uh, Panda Color too. So, Mike, you got the six after I had mine, or before? After, right? Okay. Was that, was that, Mike? I ordered mine a day of when the red came out. Yeah, Wait, you got it right. after because yeah, yours was red, and I remember I had white, and I don't. But white was a special color too. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Maybe it came out before. But you can't. Like, right, you can't beat that red. That red is awesome. Nah, yeah. the, I'm telling you, these son of a guns better not come out with a special edition red in the interim. After you get it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, then I'll be really pissed. Then you you have to talk to what's his name, Carl Pay. Yeah, Carl Pay and Rishi. I'm <laughs> calling up Rishi. <laughs> He got contacts. Get somebody over here. I wonder if he's going to get the 7T. He said in the video the other uh, yesterday that he's definitely going to get it. Is he now? Yes, he said, that's what he said. That's OnePlus' biggest fan right there. He, he said, I'm going to get the 7T because you know I'm the OnePlus guy. You know, that's because he, <laughs> yeah, he, he, he really is. He's, he's, he, he takes some great, uh, take some great photos. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That the one that he did. Uh, where did he go? Was he in the Bahamas when he, he did the Bahamas, yeah. study? He was in NASA. Study video. Did yeah. you see that, George? Uh, Mike. Yeah, yeah I saw that. I saw. Yeah. yeah and then he took pictures of like he's on um, the Jersey City side, looking at New York City. Yeah, he always he took some pictures. That he's always seen. coming out with some good pictures. Always taking that. pictures from that park there. What's the park? Um, oh, I used to go there. I can't remember the name. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he looks right. He looks right across the river, so it's perfect. That super steady mood is really nice. Yeah. All right, are we done? Yeah, we're done. We're done. All right. So, All right, everybody so, just left. Thanks for coming. Yeah, who <laughs> else is here? Let's see. Yeah, well, uh, uh, Miss, uh, say no to meet. Okay, Miss Lisa. I <laughs> <laughs> oh, didn't even know you were here. Sorry, Mike. Uh, and- if you sold your, uh, I didn't even see all these comments. Send you sold your, would you try another Xiaomi? Big house said, uh, would I try one? Mm, maybe I'm gonna be, I, I'm going, what's that? I'm gonna be a little bit, uh, selective. I would highly recommend this Xiaomi Mi A3. Okay, seriously, Friday night food right talk here. Right after, <laughs> right after we leave here, I'm going out with the Xiaomi Mi A3 and the and the uh, Nokia 7.1 because somebody asked me to do a nighttime video. Uh, I see, I see, I uh, see Six Louise. I like that one. Friday night food talk with your hosts cooking with your device. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I, well, I said last week if you did if you did the cooking videos, you'd go over a thousand fast. I bet you. Yeah, I'd go like, cooking videos with with technology. There you go. Yep. Mike, you know what you got, you know what you got to do. You got to do it like Rishi. Rishi looks like he just puts anything. He'll just record anything now. He'll record them going yeah. to the dollar store. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he does a good job of Those it. Are his best videos though. When yeah. he's recording like the craziest yeah. thing, it's hilarious. Especially, especially if, if he can get her to say something yeah. negative. He loves doing. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I, 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 my wife, my wife said, put a comment and say, "Oh my God, I can hear you uh, laugh." Uh, through the she's downstairs. Okay. So I, I just want to point out to you, Pat. He's coming back. He's coming back to the <laughs> a dark side. I told you he's coming back. Oh, yeah. Okay. God. Maybe Will feels a little generous. I'll bring you back a burger too. Okay. Because I'm going to win this bet. 
I'm gonna get Mike the Impossible Burger. I don't care. It's a burger. I win. No, wait a minute. Red Robin. Red Robin has an impossible. We're going to Red Robin. That's all I got to say. Red, let me see if Red Robin has an impossible burger. I know you're not about to meet. Well, wait, you, you, can have, you guys go. They may. Mike, you can you can have a meet. It's not January yet. That's right. That's why I'm doing it. You got to wait till the till December's gone. That's true. Yeah, hey, George, they, Mike, they do have an impossible burger. Do they? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Plant-based. Unbelievable taste. Introduce right, yeah, the impossible saturated fat like everybody else's. <laughs> George is not a fan of the impossible burger. Anymore. Well, I, I I liked how much the, the Burger King one tasted, but then I found out they're all just pumping them full of saturated fat. So yep. yeah. So you're avoiding the meat, but you're getting the same stuff in your veins. Yeah. Yep. Doing the same thing yeah. to your cholesterol. George, uh they got it, Mike. George. Doing. George, you see yeah. Big House's comment? He says uh, Nokia 7.2. Another round camera module, George. Yeah, yeah. I'm, not, you know? I'm not going to get the Nokia 7.2, but I, I would have. But, uh, yeah, I love my Nokia 7.1 right now, and, and I'm doing a, a comparison video with it tonight. So. Uh, all right. Well, let's close up. Let's get out of here because you've got to go to work tonight. All right. Next week, we're on my channel, 8 p.m., Eight o'clock on simply your device. I'll be yep. ready this time. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. I thought I'll I was be. running late. All right, everybody. Thanks for uh, let me see. She said uh Lisa said the impossible burger from Burger King doesn't taste like the original impossible burger. So is it really plant-based? Mm. Well, like I said, I I heard on, on a radio show that they're all of them are being pumped with uh saturated fat. That's why they taste so good. Mm, I don't know. I don't think I could. I don't know. Y'all make it sound like it tastes good, but I wouldn't buy one. It yeah, well, I got mine for free, too. Yeah, I gave it to me. Maybe yeah. I'd try it. But, I, but to taste-wise, I would buy one, but since I know it's being pumped full of saturated fat, I'm just going to buy a Whopper like I always do. I, <laughs> yeah. Just like I just eat the real thing. Yeah. I hear you. All right. All right, everybody. All right, George. All right, All right Mike. All right. Mike. All right. Mike. Here. We'll be on Mike's channel next week. You know where to find me. Uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and uh, Google Plus. No, <laughs> <laughs> I still want to say it. I still um, want to say it too. I so. did not write, a, write an article this week, but I'll get one by this weekend. Anyway, Mike, you're up. I'm Mike Dixon, Simply Device. I uh, everybody give a thumbs up to today's uh, uh, stream. I put the word out. Re uh, replay crew, share, yeah. share, the, share the video. Um, you know, uh, what was it? What does he call that? What's it? What do you get money for? Uh, Super Chat. Super <laughs> Chat was, was never wide open today. Anyway, have a good week, everybody. See you next Friday. We'll see you, folks. Yeah. All right. We should be going off.